couple of weeks ago that you would like your guys to, no matter what the score is, play as if they're trying to hit a certain mark. Yeah. It felt like that tonight. It was. It was, uh, it was something that I challenged them on all the time. You know, we have a, a talented team, but it's taken us a while. I mean, honestly, I make no excuses for the losses, but it was really hard integrating Naquan and then bringing Jordan Brown back and trying to do that. It's just been extremely hard. No matter, I, I, I can't even put, put it into words. And now it's starting to work itself out. Had some injuries, which is bad. Uh, guys missing games. And then now the chemistry and the, and the rotation of the guys, it's like it's, it's shaping itself. And... You know, after we left Texas, man, there was no worry in my mind. I just felt like we, we had to work, uh, work some things out, and the kinks are being worked out now as we go. Obviously, solid effort all around, but it seemed like that first five minutes of the second half, y'all made a decision to just put your foot on the gas. What did you say in the locker room that kind of sparked that effort? Yeah, I just told them the first four minutes, we, we've gone halves where we were just smothered teams in the first half, and they get 50 points in the second half, 48 points in the second half. First four minutes, they showed them that they can't get back into this game, and the guys... They went out and did that. You mentioned Naquan. I mean, he's kind of emerging as this kind of, I, mean, I don't know, unstoppable is the right word, like, but he's getting. He's getting comfortable is what he's getting. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, been, it's been hard for him to try to figure out where to pick his spots because he was so respectful of the other guys that have already been here. And now they're starting to see where, where he likes the ball and he's starting to find his way. First five minutes felt like there was a lid on both rims, honestly. What, were, what was East Carolina kind of doing defensively to muck things up? Well, I mean, they do a great job of just packing the paint. And anytime you drive, they swarm the ball and make you make the next pass. And we had two points. I looked at the score. It was like 2 nothing, and it was like four minutes already had gone off the clock. So at the end of the day, it was two great defensive teams tonight uh, going to war. And what they do is they just swarm the ball when you go in there to make you make the next pass. You mentioned after leaving Dallas, like, you had no worries in your mind. Um, these past three games, like just the intensity, effort, energy level is something we really haven't seen consistently all season. Is there something that you said behind the scenes, the players said, that kind of has sparked this? Uh, Man, I ain't gonna lie. I've been doing a lot of praying for this team because it's been little, it's been small things of just negativity that's kind of held us back. And I feel like if we just continue to just work together and everybody be in harmony, everybody be happy. And then we started focusing in on all the small stuff. We didn't really do a, well, a good job of it tonight, but offensive rebounding, we started to say, hey, we're not going to let them get offensive rebounds. Then we're going to sprint back on defense. And offensively, we're not going to take bad shots because it's like turnovers. And collectively, if we felt like if we did that, we'd have a chance to win a lot of games. Were you thinking about the net at all tonight? You have to at some point because that's what gives teams around the country the respect that they get. It's unfortunate because ECU is a good team especially at home, but they won't get the credit that they deserve. So it's like if you get an opportunity to beat them by 20, then that to me is, is special because it just doesn't happen in this building. Yeah, I think they had not allowed a team to score more than 75 points in league play this year uh, in this building. So, I mean, I don't know. How did you guys do it? Together. They did it as a group, and they did it together. There's no animosity or envy of anybody. It's whoever has the shot, whoever has the hot hand gets the ball. And that's, that's great harmony right there. That's what I love because that's just basketball. That's what the great teams that are in the top 25, that's what they do. And you, to, to get that recognition again, you got to play the game the right way on both ends. Speaking of harmony, it seems like your guys are kind of playing with a great joy. Now, you, know, you look at the bench guys, they're jumping up and down and waving towels and all that kind of stuff. What can you say about kind of the – happiness and togetherness, cohesiveness they're playing with now? Yeah, it's just what I've always wanted from the beginning when I saw this group. I knew it was going to be tough because we had so many scores and guys that had been the man on their previous teams. So I knew it was going to be some bumps and bruises. I didn't think it would be this bad. But now seeing everybody just kind of exhale and be okay with everything, but say, hey, if I'm not scoring, I'm going to go rebound. Starting to hear guys say that. If I'm not scoring, I'm going to go block shots. Now it's starting to become a team and it, and it looks good as well. What, do you, what, do you, what, what didn't you like about tonight? The box outs. They got 19 offensive rebounds. Uh, yep, 19 offensive rebounds. A lot of them were in, you know, we were up and late, but at the end of the day, you want to still finish off. The good teams finish off doing things the right way. We just got to continue to do things the right way. You said the other day that you felt like if you guys finished the right way, that 
get yourself back in the conversation. This is obviously another big step towards that. I mean, you feel even more sort of confident. That Absolutely. Absolutely. You keep winning and, and winning the way that we're winning in the fashion that we're winning. And looking, we're looking the part now. For a lot of games, we didn't look the part. We were just all over the place, disheveled, everything. It was just crazy. Now we're looking like the team that should be top 10 in the country. We're looking like that now. Obviously, a lot of talking. There's still games left about where you guys will finish in the standings and if you'll get that double buy or won't. Mm -hmm. If you do not get that double buy, what's your confidence level that this team that we're seeing past three games can go out there and win four games in four days and win the AAC tournament? I mean, it's one game at a time. And, you know, we, if, we, if we put ourselves in that situation, we did it. So we got to work ourselves out of it. And it's strength in numbers. We're playing nine, ten guys. So we're, we're, we're okay with playing enough guys and not just running guys into the ground. And uh, I know I said that, and tonight it still was in the 30s. Um, David and Naquan and JQ, but I think in a four-day deal, you got guys that can rest guys more once you get healthier. Last two for Coach. One game at a time, the next one is UAB, and that, that represents an opportunity to sort of elbow your way toward that double bye for the, for the conference tournament. They, they're... they're I think a half of them ahead of you guys in the standings right now. Yeah, well, you know, it's home court. It's senior night. We hope to have a packed crowd on a Sunday. Um, we look forward to that game because they, they jumped out on us in the second half and pushed away and played a really impressive game in front of a really good crowd. I felt like that crowd brought them through because it was a really rowdy crowd. We need everybody in the building on Sunday to give us that opportunity. We have to protect home court. Do you have any other knowledge or update when you'll get Malcolm back? Is that something you know now? That is not something that I know, and uh, I'll have to, I'm waiting just like everyone else.